Welcome to the second episode of the Warrior Academy Catch and Cover Series. In this episode, we will break down the routes ran by some of the NFL's best route runners. Come on this journey with us as we dissect the game of football from the receiver perspective. Get ready to elevate your game the Warrior way. That P.J. Walker is going to need some plays out of his receivers. Well, you see, it helps when the defender falls down. Diamondor Lenore. Amari Cooper does a great job of closing the space that the corner gives him right here and not just patting his feet, but chopping his feet in a way that he's closing that space in between them. So that way, when he declares, the DB has to bite on it. Cooper's doing a great job of closing that space with small steps on this patient corner who has to react once he makes that jab with his right foot. He uses small steps to chop and then he hits him with a left right one two and he's out of there left one two bam out of there running away from him for the go route and a big game in this route they're playing outside leverage and just giving them the inbreak cooper cup is a nightmare in the slot if you give him space especially when you give him option routes because he can manipulate the space however he wants to what he does right here is he does a stem where he widens on his release by him widening, that gives him information that he can collect to see what the defender is trying to take away. The DB in this play is trying to take away outside leverage, so he knows he can widen him. By widening him, he figures if he continues to widen him, he'll have more room away from number 30 to break in on this slant route. As you see, he widens when the DB widens. Now, he squares him up, gives him a left right, and he's running away from him right here. Just simple separation right there. On the wide, and he collects the information, sees he got him squared up, now in out, breaking across his face for a game. Look, he also does it on the backer. Same, same exact move at the top, just a different setup. This backer starts inside, then he widens, and now he collects enough information to where now he's running towards him. He just pushes vertical, and then he chops his feet. When he chops his feet, the linebacker stops his feet. Now he's able to square him up, get the leverage he wants left right in out got that leverage on that slant route for a big game league on slant routes and aj terrell is a good cornerback but he just gets beat it Cameron mcclorn does a great job getting open on this slant he gets terrell with that first step that first step is going to make him feel like he's selling vertical once he gets him to open up his hips he gets inside turns his chest gets inside gets vertical for three and gets separated by him getting vertical after Taking that initial release step causes Terrell to open up his hips, give him a corner of clear path for the slant. This horse collar tackle of the game, I think. Personal foul, horse collar tackle, defense number 30. We're gonna break down this dig route here by Puka Nakua, okay? He's become a rookie sensation. It's been phenomenal to see what he's been able to do. So let's break down one of his reps right here, okay? He has a dig route. You have to understand leverage, okay? He has a dig route and he has a nickel that's guarding him, playing him outside shaded leverage, which is golden, okay? It means that as a receiver, he doesn't have to do a whole lot to get open at the top of his route. All he has to do is push vertical and not give away what he's doing, which he does a great job of. He digs here, one, two, three. Boom, a third outside foot. He's breaking away, separating away from that DB right here. Boom, this is a speed cut. On a speed cut, you will bleed up field. It does happen, but it's also important that you're able to get negative, okay? He's going up field, as you can see right here, but at the last second, look, he's attacking negative and flat back towards the ball, which gives him that much more separation, allowing him to catch the ball and now have the space to shoot that stiff arm. Also, now getting that horse collar tackle, adding another 15 yards for the ram. Is Drake London and Kyle Pitts, he's big wide receivers, but he makes a quick catch on the skinny slant. That route, we see Drake London use his hands to get physical at the release, okay? But what he does, similar to McLaurin, okay, is he takes that step out first to get the DB to slide laterally. Once he gets him to slide, we see him shoot his hands, but London has the awareness to be able to use that left hand to get his hands off and get in there with his big physical frame for a big game. Stafford going deep. Nakua in stride. And so Puka Nakua is doing a delayed over route here. Okay, he's going to have Cup and Atwell clear out. So that way he can get over to those numbers. Okay, he's trying to get across the field to those numbers. All right, like he does right here. That's his goal right there is to get across the numbers. We're going to break down how he does it. All right, so 
if you look at this clip here, you'll see he's bluffing the end and then he knows he has to get over there as fast as he can. This backer right here, he knows he has to get behind this backer to get to that open area. Okay, it's about 10, between 10 to 15 yards down the field. He doesn't know that cup is gonna fall. He's supposed to be clearing out 30, but he does a great job of staying on the run, knowing if he gets by this backer, he has open area and he makes that catch right there. This is a great play by Nakua. More accurately, great slant route selling the outside fit. Amari Cooper hardly ever did cover on slant routes, okay? Because he has such a package. He hesitates his feet. He does a great job selling the go route here. He does a great job of sticking that left foot in the ground and planting hard, flat, on a flat angle to run away from him on this slant route. Cooper does a great job of turning his chest and his shoulders like he's trying to get around the defender, which makes the defender have to respect that he may try to run a go route. That's what you want to sell when you run a slant on press coverage. Sell that go route, whether it's at the release or it's once you get into the route. Cooper does a great job of that here, selling and then being ready with that left arm if he does grab to put that arm swim through and get up field for great by Cup right here. Stafford, lofting, Enzo, Nakua, he's got it! Quick look left, one-on-one -on, -one on the backside, and Puka Nakua just beats James. We're gonna break down this fade route for a touchdown by, by Puka Nakua this past weekend. On this fade route, okay, Nakua knows he has time, okay? He's on the 22-yard line, so he knows he has a little bit of time. He can be a little bit more patient at the line of scrimmage. All right, so he goes a slide release, slide release outside, seeing what leverage Bradbury is going to try to take away. Okay, Bradbury squares him up so he knows he can get outside. Okay, he knows he can get outside towards the sideline. Okay, he gets that handoff when Bradbury tries to put his hand on that shoulder and he does a great job of fighting force with force. Okay, he doesn't let Bradbury push him to the sideline. He fights back into the field of play and stacking Bradbury in this last second right here to get in position for this throw by Stafford. This is a great this is a great opportunity for Nakua to stack Bradbury right here. You see he gets the handoff right there and now he continues to fight with the hand but with that slight movement of getting stacked right there on Bradbury it allows him to get in front of him and get that separation he needs to make that catch. This is what you call a textbook finish on stacking the DB to get in position to finish in the end zone. He might not have the deep speed he once did. He might not have that extra step. But as far as contested catches, going up to high point the ball. The setup and the craftsmanship of it is definitely there. Cooper does an outside step to see what the defender's going to do. And the DB gives him that outside leverage. All right, he sees right there on those first couple steps if he's going to allow him to get it. And he gets it. But he also gives him that little hezzy step right there. That hezzy step gets that DB to sink his hips for a little bit. For him to stack and get around him but on this right here guys cooper just goes up and does what he does best go up and attack that ball like a basketball player attack the ball as a receiver like it's a rebound doesn't matter the amount of dbs that are in the area cooper's not even focused on them he's just worried about the ball and that's what you have to be as putting a it all together has he at the line quick sink to get the db to hesitate his feet run by him but most importantly go up and get that ball and make a big play Thank you for tuning in to episode two of the Warrior Academy Catch and Cover series. Like and subscribe for content to elevate your game the Warrior way.